Well, hello everybody! Welcome! This is Tears of Avia on the PlayStation 5. It's also on PS4, Switch and Steam. It was released on Steam three years ago, I believe. And I remember the people who made this game, well, the, who published this game, that is PQ Entertainment, reached out to me. Asking if I wanted to review the game. Well, they actually sent a review code on Steam. And as you can see, creative director, this is an indie game, Andrew Levy, produced by Games Co. London. So these guys are from London. This is a British RPG, British strategy, British indie strategy RPG, apparently. Okay, and PCube reached out to me for, with a review code for Steam because this game was initially only on Steam and of course I said no because I don't review Steam games. But apparently a few a couple of years ago uh, it was ported to consoles and they didn't reach back again unfortunately so now I saw it on the PlayStation Store for six dollars and I got it and here I am. Apparently it's some kind of strategy RPG. So uh, we were on the settings before. Looks like we can't choose the difficulty. Anyway, so welcome everybody, I'm gonna play this game today. This is the full game, I got it for six dollars. So, let's begin. Okay, let's get on with a new game. So you choose your character here. So there's Reina. Reina's grounded approach to the world serves her well as an adaptable ranger. Skeptical and keen problem solver, she prides herself on always finding out the truth at any cost. Raul, he's a brawler, brash, loud and quick to laugh. Brawler Raul always favors feasts over wits. With his quest for excitement and his love for drink, <laughs> he tends to stand out from the crowd for all the right and wrong reasons. Iris, she's a mage. As a self-assured master of magic, Iris is the quintessential mage, brimming with a confidence to match her ego. With a desire to get ahead as quickly as possible, her ambitions for arcane power know no limits. She looks like the lolly of the game, so no thanks. Kai possesses a strong heart and an iron resolve when it comes to his convictions. As a warrior, he's determined to prove that honor can survive in even, the great, even this great world. If only he'd be given the chance. Uh, looks like the... Uh, Classic stereotype. Momoko, priest. Selfless and caring, Momoko's only true wish is to be useful as a priestess of Estera, while others may perceive as... Okay, so I'm gonna go with the archer. <laughs> Standard, hardcore. Uh, I'm new to Tears to Avia, so of course. I am I am very familiar with strategy. Why Why Standard and Hardcore? They, they're making it look like if it was easy and hard mode. What's up with normal mode? Come on, why can't there be a normal mode? So I'm just gonna go with standard. Whatever. Whoa! It, it's in Japanese? Well, that is interesting because... Um, didn't we see it was like a, an indie RPG from London? Maybe they just got Japanese voice actors for it. Okay, the, the, the NPCs do not look anime at all. <laughs> anime style at all. That's interesting. Oh, okay. So that's the difference between the characters. Yosodekinaikotunaokita。外に出かける準備の最中に、予想できないことが起きた。外に、一人佇む者がいる。気がつくと、力はい上がったゾンビに囲まれている。彼は必死に近づく者を投げ払うな。力は弱まっている。立
Whatever the hell that is. Okay, so... Archery, Beast Mastery, Natural Affinity. Wow, this is interesting. This, this is a big skill tree. Right now I don't have any points to upgrade anything, so... Okay, inventory character stats. Afrin, that's his name. She... obviously she's an archer, so she's kind of weak. Okay. I'm gonna have to turn these down. And okay, you can't save. I have no inventory. Okay, let's just go back. Alright, controls are fine. Apparently this is some kind of turn-based strategy RPG, so... It's interesting that they hired Japanese voice actors for this game. Any idea where they came from? Where are all the villagers? You sure you're okay? Okay, so any idea where they came from? Zombie あなた、本当あ、大丈夫。敵は多かったけどね。一人でよく戦い抜いたわね。まあ、でも君のように上手く弓を扱えたら敵に近づかなくて済んだんだけどね。ゾンビが怖がっていたように見えたけどこの匂
I mean, I'm not complaining about the fact that there's no tutorial because it's pretty self-explanatory, right? I thank you for that, for not giving me a useless tutorial. But the skill system was kind of like, okay. Search for survivals in the chapel, huh? I mean, it's interesting that it's a strategy RPG. Look at all this blood, holy shit. Wasn't she like the main, one of the main characters that I could choose? No, right? She looks different. ひどい怪我だ。どこかへ移動しよう。私は大丈夫です。自分に回復魔法をかけました。ゾンビを止めるにはそれしか方法がない。やってみます。だけど、地下室への通路が塞がれてるわ。あなたは注意深いのですね。頼もしい。ポータルストーンを持って行ってください。これで地下に入れるでしょう。私にお任せを。でも
I started the game from here. And there's nothing to do here, okay. I'm just trying to, like, find a save point or something. Maybe it was inside the chapel and I missed it. No, right, I don't see anything except these things, but... Not really. And these guys are just for the offering. Or maybe if I try to save here, no, settings. Same settings as before. Well, this is weird. Uh, what are we playing tonight, you ask? We are playing Dragon Quest 17 on the PlayStation 8. Looks good so far, huh? So I can't go anywhere, so I might as well try this travel thing. Yeah, I mean, okay. I gotta go Toldred Crypt, so let's go there. Okay, it's weird. Player turn. Oh, so I'm immediately being thrown into a battle? Oh, wow. So you deploy right from the start? It's like this Gaia, the moment you deploy... That's interesting. You move right away, right? You know how in this Gaia you summon a character and you, sh you, sh you can just use your turn right from the start to attack? Well, that's interesting. Nice. That's cool. Stage clear. Still, it's starting to feel more like a turn-based RPG with some grid-based combat instead of a strategy RPG. Well, that wasn't a lot of experience. Well, it's, it makes sense, I only killed one guy. Good so far, optional. Check your inventory for new equipment. Okay, so uh, there's the rusty iron staff, cores, bow, rusty old bow. What do I have equipped? What am I doing, man? This looks fucking weird. There we go. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna stay like this. So... Oh, we're going down. Okay, this is still unavailable. These two. And these two. Yeah, so I'm guessing there's some kind of autosave feature. Oh, I didn't know you could move the camera. Well, that's interesting. Can go there, can go anywhere. Except for the chapel. And how much money do I have? I gotta go back to the chapel to check it out. Oh, the priestess is gone. Now I have 92.
Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Like, if I make an offering to one specific goddess or god, another one increases or decreases. Did you see that? I mean, that's weird. Now I have minus 50%. And all these are 20. I mean, that's weird. Okay. I mean, I guess it's done so you don't break the game or anything. Man, you're just using a lot of money to boost every single stat, defense, and attack power to max. I mean, you will, you will break the game, right? Okay, so now we're going to the second one. My one only concern is uh, where's the save point? Anyway, here we go. Now we got three enemies. The sexy Reina. Oh, wow, that's awesome. There we go. Wow. Hey, holy shit! View isn't all isometric. Except when they attack. Oh wow, that's cool. You gotta give him that. These animations are cool. That's cool. <laughs> nice one shot kill. And how do you heal? I don't see the option to. I don't see a menu to use items. これ、どうするうーん、壊すのはダメな気がする。電撃か何かを食らっちゃうかな。それよりもっと悪いことが起きるかもね。ま、これが何なのかわかる人を知っているよ。彼に見せてみようか。本当そうしましょうか。よし、
Well, remember you. We, okay, this is an indie game. <laughs> right, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. いや、俺も今着いたところだ。so they still have the crystal and they've been waiting for three weeks to find out what the hell it is? Unavailable. Well, we can come here downstairs and there's a... Wow, a store. Nice. Finally, so this is my inventory, right? Okay, I got all these weapons. Horned. Shortbow. Says down there it'll decrease my heat by 22. And my attack oh, to 22 or uh, okay to 23, so this is useless. Unidentify. It costs a lot of money to identify something. Check it out. This one costs 208 and they only have 144. Yeah. What else is here? Let's keep exploring. Identify scroll. Identify rare items. Well, I can get it for 100. Crude shard. Upgrade skill from tier 0 to tier 1. Unrefined shard. Upgrade skill from tier 1. Okay. I can't afford anything except the identify scroll, so... I'm not sure I want to do that. What else is here? Maybe we'll find a save point. Home? I... My, my own home is unavailable? This is locked. Everything's locked. Some stones in here. Well, there's only those two shops. So what was here? The library. We're supposed to go there. But let me check out what else is available. Chapel's still available. Maybe I can talk to the priest. Yeah, there she is. So, this is the Chapel of Pantheon Gods? Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can know more about the gods. I guess. So far, so good. I mean, you can tell it's a bit low budget, but I don't have a problem with that. No issues here. <laughs> so this is the guy. マーセルラプルームの王国の銃の宝はいかがかな。<笑><笑> Hmm. 
Who are you? For, to start with, who the hell are you? The finest librarian in the land. ヘルムアトの関係が悪化し、Delator's Guide to Ichi Skin? <laughs> well, I like that the game has a sense of humor. Well,あ、あ、分かった、分かったから。何を見てほしいんだ。これが何なのか知ってる?ああ。どうかしたの?どどどこでこれを見つけたんだい?アフレンと一緒に大聖堂の地下室から取り出しました。いや、ウィキルサムカインドフ
The Pyromaniac's Guide to the Flame. <laughs> El Howlet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. That's cool, I guess. Well, oh, he's gone. Well, let's go to the tavern. Usually you recruit people here. Whoa, hey, these are the other four main characters. Right? And there's this guy. So you can re you you can recruit the other main characters, huh? Next time Warmy, he's a weirdo. A bit eccentric. <laughs> I wonder if I'm eccentric. そんなにひどかったのか。沼に行くようにあ、ここにいる人たちに話を聞かれない方がいいわ。知り合いとかはいないわよね。待て待て。その予言って何だよ。地下室で見つけた宝石はイルヌールの予言と関係があるみたいなの。道理で宝石がおかしいと思った。で、ド
So I got a sword, well I got a melee attacker, I got an archer, I guess I need like a healer, yeah. Always go with a healer. That's Fire Emblem teachings right there. That's what Fire Emblem teaches you. Healers first. Tell me more about yourself. Okay, she's an orphan. She's very religious. It's weird how the, the, the actress voicing this character doesn't seem to stutter. But the dialogue here shows that she's actually stuttering. Okay, I'm just pointing out the fact that, it, that the, the voice acting doesn't match the text. Okay, so can I recruit the others too? I wonder how many people I can recruit. Pretty much getting each job here. Which is typical for a role-playing game. Well, Iris is at Tsundere. <laughs> well, she's kind of funny, at least. All she wants to do, her goal in life is to find out more about spells. Learn spells. Okay, so how many people do I have in the party now? Oh, then. Oh, there's only one more space down there. Okay. Yeah. So I can only recruit one more. The half naked brawler. In uh, tell me more. Yeah, we kind of got all that from the beginning of the game. Thank you very much, Raul. You spent lots of time in the tavern? Fucking drunk motherfucker. I mean, I guess if you the only source of entertainment in a small village is the tavern, it makes sense for the guy to go there. Imagine a world... Imagine living in a place with no video games, no movies, no internet, no nothing except the tavern. And socializing, I guess. What would you do? In a world with no video games. Well, at least there's books. He can read till here's his heart's content. Right? I will do that. I'm pretty sure most of you will be like this guy. Just drinking. And drinking and drinking. I guess it's nice for a bit of action now and then. ああ、退屈になることが多いしな。倉庫で仕事当分の間はね。スミスさんの機嫌をそこでなければ飲むのをやめろといつも言われるが、他にやることがないだろう。ま、力仕事があれば声をかけてくれ。Yeah, it's all
Okay, so now we have a full party, right? Can we recruit the other guy? Party full, yeah. You can recruit this guy. Oh, okay. Well, let's get out of here. So you can recruit everybody except for one of the main characters. So this is the library. Town hall is still unavailable. I'm guessing that the only way to save the game is by opening the menu and selecting return to title. Probably, right? So it's gotta be one of those games. Cause this is locked, this is locked. And my home is also locked. Why is it unavailable? That should be like the first thing available in, in a video game. In an RPG where it's uh, where there's only like one base. Oh, and we get to travel all the way here to Mire of Karath. Let's go then. Straight to battle, huh? Wow, so we got like five or six monsters here. Whoa, more like, wow. Two, four, six, eight bastards. These ones are pretty close, so let's just deploy one of the melee attackers. Like Afrin. Ninety four, huh? What about Raul? What can you do? Whoa, screen tearing. Hello. <laughs> That's a weird animation for a skill. Ah, okay, it's cool, I guess, but they could have done better. Use the mage now. Position her in a safe place. She has Firebolt and Firestorm. Oh, this is a multiple. This is for various enemies. Nice. Well, I guess it's time for Reina, huh? I'm not going to summon the wolf right now. Reyna is obviously the most powerful character so far. I mean, she's kind of overpowered. Let's deploy the priestess. I mean, put her right here. So what can she do? Can she even attack besides healing, of course? She heals and she heals. And that's it. So I guess, yeah, let's just end the turn. Okay, it's getting better. Only one enemy moved, huh? Pretty sure Rina can take them all down by herself. I mean, Reina. Reina. I'm <laughs> still thinking about Reina from Star Ocean. I kind of want to summon the wolf, but if I summon the wolf, I mean, I remember it says that you, you don't, it only lasts for two turns, so maybe I should wait. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. And just do a random shot. Yeah, these little animations give the game something extra. I mean, I think it's got more appeal. Oh, they don't move a lot. Huh. Okay. Here it comes. Wow, why is the screen trembling? Did you see that? What, what, what is this? Whoa, you fucker. Whoa. 
Nice. What I'm trying, what I still don't understand is if each character earns experience individually. But from what we've seen so far, it pretty much shows that the, the experience might be shared. I can't use it. It, it has a cooldown. Check it out. So let's use this one. No friendly fire, right? No friendly fire. That's cool. Let's move the camera here. It's, it seems to be kind of struggling in the isometric view. Let's lure this guy. Put Afrin. Seems to be a bit of a tank character. What is this? It's just a crystal in there? Okay. Oh, man. That's all we can do for now. Pretty good game so far. It has its issues, like this trembling. Like the HP bar. Kind of dropping frames in there. But that's okay. You can move the camera around however you want, but... As soon as the enemy's turn comes in, it goes automatically back to its isometric view. I think it's time to summon the wolf, see what it does. Nice. Wonder how powerful the wolf is? Pretty powerful, it seems. Whoa! Overpowered! Damn! How far can she get? Oh! She has this reach. Long range. I wonder if they made that animation like that on purpose, or if it's a glitch, and they couldn't do it right. Because it's weird, right? I'm gonna stay right here so the healer can reach me. Here. Okay. So far so good, it's kinda easy, but here come the motherfucking... Here come these guys, yeah. Okay. I guess I can do a healing circle, but not now. It's probably gonna use up a lot of magic. But send the wolf to tank them. No, he's too far away. Oh! Or not. Yeah. Obviously she's not gonna get him right unless I put it here and... What happened? I clicked the circle button. Oh, did she actually execute? Yeah, she, she launched her spell, right? And I got the dog, so that area of effect... That area spell... Includes friendly fire? Wow, that's... Like... Bullshit. Oh fuck, I put the wolf back. Not doing very well in this battle. Look at me, what an idiot. Now the wolf is gone. They really did position themselves in an you know, unreachable spot.
What's going on? I want to move Rena. I mean, Reina. Why can't I move her? Because the guy was blocking me? Seriously? He doesn't have the best intuitive controls, I'll be honest. But anyway, so far all of my complaints have been like pretty small. Just minor complaints. And as you can see, there are no potions. No vulneraries, like in Fire Emblem. Ah, trying to run away from me, huh? You won't get very far, man. Oh, man. No, I peeked and turned. Oh, fuck. I made a mistake. I'm used to strategy RPGs when you, where you choose and turn, but just for one character. Oh, come on. The puzzle waifu game, game was pretty good. I keep telling people, you know, they, they often trash game like that, games like that because of the fan service. You don't appreciate them for what they truly are. Oh, she has a lot of range. Yeah. That's awesome. So we're gonna keep healing this guy, I guess. What? I, I selected myself? Oh, I selected the one that's okay. Wow. Um, what's going on in here? Just go there and stay there. I think it's best instead of using the D-pad or the joystick to move around the characters to select them, it's always I think it's best to use the triggers. It's just much much better. Well, I guess I have one more complaint now. I think the music is like meh. There we go, stage clear. Clear the level in four turns, deal more than 20,000 damage in a single turn. How are you supposed to do that? I'm level two. Well, that one leveled up. Let's see what other. Let's learn this one. Oh, learn all, all three of them. Move an extra two squares for the next turn. Gain a fifty percent chance to evade damage for the next uh, for the next turn. Whenever you lose health, regain twenty five percent of the health that was lost. Well, for now, let's just learn regular skills. Oh, this this is interesting. Okay, Iris now. Uh, 
Now Reina. Deploy a Cobra. Nice. Summon thorns at target location. Unit student thorns suffer bleeding and cripple for two turns. Now, can she learn some kind of like attack? Cure one condition for three turns. Target gains uh, health at the start of each turn. Reduce incoming damage. Summon a guardian that will absorb condition for the next two turns. For five turns, your target cannot lose more than 25% of her maximum health from a single attack. Damage reducing its way depletes your energy by 20. Okay. There we go. Deal. Okay. Now we got some kind of attack. I mean, so she can do something, right? Did you notice that more some characters earned more experience than others? I wonder, I wonder why. Is that because they acted more? Probably, right? I mean, that's just weird. That's all I'm saying. And I'm back in town. I wonder if our home is is, is locked now. Is it's unlocked? I don't think so, right? Oh wow, the camera fucked out. And yeah, I'm pretty sure the only way to, to save the game is to pretty much quit. And since I gotta go, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Well, that was Tears of Avia on the PlayStation 5. Everybody, thanks for watching. Thank you for joining. And I'll see you next time. Wait, begin? Oh, there, yeah. Confirmed. Autosave. There we go. That's what I needed to confirm. That's all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.